Hello, I'm Georgie Ferret and this is your Week in Tech. Online data extraction platform Import.io have raised $13 million. The former winners of our Elevator Pitch competition enable businesses to translate entire websites into usable data. Money Box has raised $3 million for their startup, helping millennials to manage their finances to save the future. Online platform for buying cars, CarWow, has raised an $18.75 million Series B round. The platform turns the traditional car buying process on its head. Buyers pick the car they like, and then CarWow sends up to five offers from the best rated dealers in Britain. And following Push Doctor's raise last week, another health app, Babylon Health, has raised $25 million. Babylon offers video consultation, but is also working on AI-driven health advice. New European ruling has stated that companies have the right to read workers' private messages sent via chat software and webmail accounts during work hours. The European Court of Human Rights said a firm that read a worker's Yahoo Messenger chats sent during office hours was within its rights. This particular firm had banned its workers from sending personal messages and to check up on them, they viewed their private correspondence. Just a little reminder that incognito is best whilst at work. Uber has been forced to pay a fine of over $7 million in order to keep operating in its home state of California. The court issued the penalty because the on-demand ride hailing app failed to provide information on its vehicles such as accessibility and problems with drivers. Meanwhile, Spotify has been hit by a $200 million lawsuit for its failure to obtain the correct license to stream some artists' music. Both incidents show the difficulties of keeping fast-moving startups on the right side of the law. Our download of the week is Offer. Offer aggregates a number of crowdfunding platforms so you can keep track of deals and tempting investments all from the comfort of your mobile. Offer is a one-stop shop for the alternative investment market. And finally, the web paid homage to the legend David Bowie, who sadly died after an 18-month cancer battle aged 69 on Sunday. Over 20,000 tweets a minute flooded onto Twitter in the hours following his death, praising the singer's phenomenal career, while people took to streaming websites pushing 13 of his previous albums to enter the top 100, with his new album Black Star set to top the charts this week. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.